more than half the global population live in cities, and over 80% of global GDP is generated in cities. Well-planned, compact cities make public spending on infrastructure and services economically viable and facilitate generation and diffusion of knowledge. However, poorly planned urbanisation leads to transport congestion, increased carbon emissions and poor air quality, and also urban sprawl. International financial institutions, such as the World Bank, Asian Development Bank and African Development Bank aim to support developing world governments to address these issues. They provide financing such as grants and loans and also professional technical assistance to those governments to support their urban development programs. These international financial institutions and their client countries require access to data and the capability to use that data to generate urban insights that ultimately improve lives. The European Space Agency cooperates with these organisations to mainstream the use of Earth observation into development operations and it has launched the Global Development Assistance Programme with a dedicated activity on urban sustainability. Traditional, non-satellite sources of this information include national statistics, ground observations and remote sensing from planes or drones. Yet these data sources are often incomplete, expensive and quickly out of date. Earth observation data has the benefit of being global, objective, comprehensive, repeatable and timely. Global Development Assistance Urban Sustainability will provide Earth observation information focused on four main urban topics. Firstly, efficient urban master planning requires analysing many factors including land cover, land use, population density, urban extent and monitoring unplanned settlements. Whilst property valuation and taxation requires accurate building footprints and heights. Secondly, ensuring livability and public health requires availability of green spaces and utilising nature-based solutions such as wetland areas. Thirdly, sustainable urban transport requires monitoring population flows and mapping of existing and planned infrastructure. Finally, extreme weather events cause frequent flood damage, landslides and coastal erosion. Resilient cities can accurately map these risks, plan and minimise exposure to populations and infrastructure. It is focused on these countries with more added in the future. The initiative is funded by the European Space Agency. It is managed by a group of organisations from the European space sector.